imagine you're giving an online presentation and you can see on gallery view that you're starting to lose your audience. They're looking tired. They look distracted. Uh, you know, it's time for a break. What do you do? Do you send them to a breakout room or do you just send them off to a break? Yeah, that's one tip you've heard in previous videos, but here's a really good idea from my friend, Ed Tate. Ed is one of the best trainers in the world. He uses what he calls energizers. Energizers are activities that get people shifting their, their, their bodies, moving physically. If you've got a group of people that have been sitting down, get them to stand up. Maybe get them to do exercises. Have them do jumping jacks, push-ups. Uh, I'm going to suggest some really strange things here. All right, take, take what you like and get rid of the rest. And you also have to think about your audience. If you've got a group of accountants, I don't think having them do the bunny hop is a really effective strategy. Maybe it is. Maybe you'll uncover some deep, dark secret in them that they love to hop like bunnies. I don't know. But find some activities that work for your audience to get them moving and, and get them out of this mental fog that they're in that anybody's going to get into if they've been looking at Zoom or any virtual presentation all day. Uh, another idea that Ed uses that I absolutely love is the treasure hunt. This actually gets people searching all over the house for different idea uh, items. Now, if you do the treasure hunt, I would suggest that you have them select items that tie into your topic in some way. For instance, when I'm doing a storytelling workshop, if I wanted to use a treasure hunt as a break, I would send people off to look for photos, books, uh, movies, uh, DVD cases, something about store that they could relate to storytelling. Maybe it's a particular item that is important to them that could trigger an idea for a new story. So get your audience energized by having them stop looking just at the camera and get them moving, no matter how limited the space. Uh, be creative. Think about your audience, how crazy they might want to get. Uh, but just get something in, uh, have them do something that's going to change the pace and get them, their bodies energized. Try this. It's a lot of fun. See you in tip number 33.